Good afternoon, this is John from Delta Cam, and today I'm going to show you real quick the Cam Doctor program. There's a lot of people on the internet that are uh, have misconception about how we read a cam. Uh, the, to pull the specs off a current cam, so we're able to locate the tooling that we need to regrind the camshaft to get an identical match. So here we have over here is the Cam Doctor machine. It runs basic uh, standard computer. Then up here we have a sensor that measures lift. And then over here we have a sensor that measures rotation. So when I'm rolling this over, I'll, I'll kind of explain it real quick before I actually do it. But we have the, the rotation will be picking up data as it's rolling over and it'll coincide with the lift sensor. And then those two sensors will shoot the information to the CPU and then it will end up spitting out a theoretical cam sheet with opening and closing events. Uh, personally, I don't believe this is that accurate because there's a lot of variables in there that are not here. Uh, if you mill your heads, it's going to throw that off. Different pistons are going to throw off the, the deck, all that stuff. The opening and closing ramp rates, stuff like that, are not going to be very accurate. So the true way to get 100% accurate cam specs is to put the camshaft in your engine, roll it over and actually degree it in the environment will get the most accurate specs. But this is a very excellent tool for comparing different specs and all of our tooling. We have about 9,500 uh, pieces of tooling and all of our tooling runs off of this cam doctor, this program. So if I want to find the specs that's on this camshaft, the best way would be running on this identical computer and then it'll pull up the specs and I can match it to our tooling and go from there. But so we're going to go ahead. We have it on the, one of the intake lobes here. <clears throat> Go to the intake lobe here, go up here to record, <clears throat> go ahead and hit record, roll this over, nice and slow so you get a good reading. <clears throat> There's one, uh, the intake lobe is done so go ahead and I'll keep that measurement, yes, yes there's high high amount of lift on a lot of the race camshafts it's a lot larger than what the regular OEM would be so it throws up an error code and I'll we'll switch to the exhaust side now and go over here <clears throat> switch over to the exhaust lobe roll it to the base circle you can see the reason why the gentleman's getting this camshaft reground yes first uh, 15 perfectly good lobes and then this one right here the uh, wheel failure which is what we see about 99% of the time on a uh, roller camshaft failure the lifter wheel gives up the ghost and gets torn up so on the uh, exhaust lobe now so now we'll go ahead and record the exhaust data Roll it over nice and slow so you get good accurate tracking. And close that. Go up here into reports. Make report. Print report. Print using these specs. <clears throat> and we get the printer fired up here. It's warming up. We haven't done a cam doctor yet today, so takes a second to print. <clears throat> Here's the actual cam card. Looks like I need a new printer ink here pretty quick, but uh, it's 277 duration on the intake and 293 on the exhaust at 50 and 800 left on the cam and a 114 lobe separation. So this is a, a great heavy, heavy street or a uh, race application. With the 114 lobe separation would be great for any sort of forced induction, turbocharge or supercharged or any sort of thing like that. So <clears throat> that's the simple process of how we get the cam doctor slips. Uh, the website has been newly rebuilt and a lot of our cam cards, once we get up and operational, have a bit of a chance to start recording some of this data. Uh, the cam cards will be available at the, on the website at deltacam.com. Other than that, if there's any questions or comments, you guys, I'll actually post this on the website. You guys have a great day. Ghost them.